Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, this is the continuation of my topic last time, which is the fire protection. This time around, after we set up the sprinkler view, I'm going to teach you how to add sprinkler heads. Alright, so let's get started. So to begin with, I'm going to change my view first to ceiling sprinkler because this is where I'm going to place my seal, my sprinkler. Okay, so I'm going to find this, uh, this spot, an easier way for me to show you how to place the sprinkler. So to do that, from the systems tab, plumbing and piping, so there's the sprinkler tool. So I'm going to select this one. You can also type SK. So I select sprinkler. Okay, this is sprinkler that I'm going to use is hosted family. So meaning to say you can only place this sprinkler if there is a ceiling. Okay, so if there's a ceiling, you'll be able to place your sprinkler. Why? Because this sprinkler is hosted family. Okay, so you need to place this in a host, which in our case right now, the ceiling. Okay, another thing that I need you to take a look is that uh, the placement here. By default, place on vertical face is uh, selected okay but we are not going to use this one because just like as you can see on the image you'll be able to place your sprinkler or using this option will place the element on the vertical face of a host element such as wall but this is not what we are going to do this is also the common error of the users that is starting to use Revit, okay? So make sure place on face is selected if you are going to use this type of sprinkler, okay? So I'm gonna select place on face. Then after that, I'm just going to place one here. Later on, I'm just going to move it. Let me just place one here, okay? And then I'm going to select modify. Now, I know that this uh, uh, ceiling here, this ceiling grid here, the size here is about 1,200 by 300 and if I want to place my sprinkler at the center, so I'm going to move this horizontally 600. So I'm going to select that, select the move tool and then make sure constraint here is checked so that the movement of your pointer or your cursor is horizontal and vertical. Okay, so I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to type 600. While the sprinkler is still selected, so make sure you select again the move tool because we want to move this below also about 300. Okay, so roughly our sprinkler now is at the center of our ceiling grid. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this by selecting the sprinkler and then I just copy. Let's say this is my base point and then I'm going to copy it here. There you go. And then I select modify. Don't forget to select modify. Okay, so I'm, go I'm going to copy again. Okay, I select both using control and then I'll just select the copy tool. So let's say I'm going to copy it somewhere here. Alright. Okay, let me just copy this also to the other side here. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to, or maybe I'll just select the four sprinklers and then I'm going to copy that. I'm going to pick here, and I'm going to pick here. There you go. Okay? So same with this portion here. So I'm going to select these eight sprinklers, copy, all right? Then I'm going to pick the base point here, and then I'm going to place it somewhere here. There you go. Okay? So that's how you pre uh, place your sprinkler. Okay? So, if you want to see that in the section view, go ahead. If you want to check it, if you place it uh, properly in your uh, ceiling, so you can check the sprinkler here. Uh, I mean the section, and then you can create the section. There you go. And then you can click outside to deselect the section, and then go ahead and uh, double-click the head of your section to open it. So, by doing that, there you go. So, you'll be able to see there your sprinkler so it's rightly placed on our ceiling okay now going back to my sprinkler head in case you want to see these sprinkler heads together with the architectural model in 3d view let's say for example you want to show it to your client or to your customer or to the team 
Okay, you can select all the sprinklers and then there is uh, this uh, new feature in 2016 which is selection box. It isolates selected elements in the current view. So I'm going to select this one and boom. Okay, so it will show you the sprinklers as well as the 3D model. So probably you can also change the discipline here instead of mechanical, you can change that to coordination. All right. There you go. You can type SD for shaded view. So you can see that in colored. Okay, so there you go. So there's your sprinkler head. So remember, uh, the sprinkler, the way you place it on your model, it depends on how you create your sprinkler. You can create your sprinkler as a hosted family or non-hosted family. If your sprinkler is non-hosted family, you can always place that even if there is no host on your model okay if there is a if it is a host hosted family just like this one make sure you have a host in our case our ceiling okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can just put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel okay on our next exercise, I'm going to show you how to model the main pipe. Okay? So, that's all for today. And again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Alright? Okay, have a nice day. Bye.